Ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba. I have panned the camera way out so one can see the festive Christmas tree. We are deep in the holiday season, as well as my little uh, K2SO decorative uh, statue. So excited because, well, let's talk about the serious part. Okay, Christmas is a, is a celebratory time of year. I choose to cho see it as a multi-holiday historical holiday event. Yes, it's the birth of the baby Jesus, which is, a, is a, which is the focal point for the Christian population. But it's also a time of year where we celebrate the changeover from the darkest days of the year, switching over to the light. And it is just a, a, a celebratory thing historically in human society. So I choose to kind of embrace all of the populace, uh, popular things about the holidays, Yule, um, the festive time of year, winter, you know, the crispness and coolness of winter, living up in the northern part of the state as, or the country as they do. So, real excited, but it's also a hustle and bustle time of year, right? There is shopping, there's baking, there's gift wrapping, there's gift giving, there's gift getting, there's all this other cool, cool stuff. Well, one thing that's happened over the last, say, 20 years has become really awesome is the, I guess you could say, the hustle and bustle of the postal service and postal areas like Amazon and UPS and all these things that go in the mail and packages are running fast and furious and it's kind of how we as a shopping society as a consumer society have evolved and so many people doing online shopping and now things are coming in the mail and I come home from work every day and what do I see but package after package after package many of them are gifts that I've ordered for family and friends but there are occasionally gifts that come for me or for the Darth Tuba channel and we have a bunch of them right here okay so I'm gonna go through a plethora of different things that have come in the mail one of them is an exception and that's this one right here in the front that is the Walgreens exclusive General Viz here huh? okay so we have a, a you know Walgreens I gotta give Walgreens a lot of credit they've had a couple of cool um, cool things that have come out over the years that were exclusive to them which is an odd thing you know, you know a, a pharmaceutical you know retail establishment to have Star Wars exclusives but they haven't they've had pretty good ones so we'll do that we have not one not two not three but a fourth box here that we we'll, that we'll talk about obviously these um, will unbox together so we can see what they are but before I get to them I do want to kind of talk about this one Yes, this is, I believe, a Hasbro Star Wars Black Series Han Solo Princess Leia from Hoth uh, exclusive, I believe from San Diego Comic-Con or, or a con of the like. I apologize if I got that one wrong. Um, just to kind of point it out for you, I, I do have to give them, I'm going to give them uh, a, a compliment and a criticism over the box. Okay, the box art and the box itself is beautiful. It has this like little plastic kind of almost like a staging curtain where you can open it up, you know, and you can see the, uh, I'm sure you can see right there. I'll see if I can get, I'm gonna be opening this box up. So anybody who's really upset about it, you might wanna turn away. But that's your, um, your setup there. You've got Han and Leia in Hoth having their little argument. Um, there's, you know, obviously some cardboard um, uh, ice, ice cavern you know set piece there and there's some of the weapons that are kind of you know attached to the side it's a beautiful piece it really is but here's my criticism look how thick this is this is the normal size to hold a figure okay so if you wanted to keep items in the box there's not that doesn't take up that much room it's only a little bit bigger than the figure this thing is gigantic and it's just two figures i can understand if you had a tauntaun in there or a wampa or some other hoth a device but it's nothing it's just a it's just a big blank space with a lot of space to put two figures in so this is definitely getting unboxed so i apologize again oh those of you that are are queasy at the thought of this being unboxed turn away turn away now you've been warned this is your last chance okay so in terms of this thing on the on the side here and again i am not intending on keeping this it is going it is going to get uh unboxed and the pit box is getting tossed out because the figures are what i'm really excited about more than any of this other stuff okay so obviously han and leia in their their little argument in the hoth base it is clearly the first time we get to see them 
in kind of that love-hate relationship. I mean, you know, there's a, a little bit of that banter going on during uh, episode four. But, um, but you know, we didn't really, you know, at that point, it, was, it seemed more to be like Luke's going to get the girl. It seemed more natural, naturally fitting that it would become Luke. Oh, people that do not like unboxing do not watch what I'm doing now. Ugh. Uh, I do recognize that there is a contingent of people that really love the, um, to keep things in their box. I get it. I understand it. I appreciate and support anybody's decision to do that, but you know the reality is that I paid for this with my own money, and I can do what I with it what I want. And basically, what I want to do is get to the actual figures more than I do a hefty amount of cardboard that is uh, essentially doing nothing more than creating unnecessary space. And again, those you know there are the, there are people out there. Well, why don't you just sell it and you know make more money? And I'm like, well, you know what? I'm not in this business of uh, unboxing to make money. I really am not. I'm in it because I love collecting. I love Star Wars, and I love exclusives. Look at this. Boom. Ugh. I mean, we're still not done, but look how much box I just got rid of. Thankfully, most of that can get recycled, so that's good. So at least it's not bad for the environment. Okay, so breaking this down a little more, you can see that there's a little contingency of weapons there for the, both characters. Okay, so that's cool. This one I'm just going to kind of cut down here and cut down here. And then we've got Leia. Cut down here. Yeah, that's why, especially on a on an unboxing episode, it's always good to have uh, it's always good to have um, box cutters. All right, so that we have that, and that is all that this contained. It was like 80% box. I do the 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 uh, cynic in me believes sometimes that. You're paying for the box more than you are anything else. And for Black Series, I bet you there are some people that would pay that because Black Series, let's face it, the Black Series doesn't really have a lot going with for it when it comes to the box art, okay? And that was a little bit nicer. Still, I wouldn't call it it's the finest thing. I think that what they did with the vintage collection probably was a little nicer, you know, when they had a few figures in the original packaging looking like. I think that would have been nice. But there's Leia, okay? Now they have what they call, uh, for those who haven't seen, I get close-ups of these. They have the um, photo realistic sculpt, and um, that is a kind of an interesting thing because um, they do like they can do scans and get much more realism to the uh, to what's going on there. Uh, I'm gonna. It looks like. Leia comes with a blaster and also a. <laughs> it looks like a. Looks like she comes with goggles from when she's working on. She's working on the. Uh, she comes with goggles when she's working on the Falcon and then Han walks in. So that's kind of interesting. Um, not liking this uh, gun. It doesn't seem like. Um, they really have her able to hold the gun. All right, that's a little better. Okay, and Han just comes with a sturdy. I think I think either one of them can have the. Uh, either one of them can have the. The goggles on and the tool. I'm just giving it to Leia just so that we balance it out a little bit. Ooh, what one nice thing. Han comes with a. His uh, coat. Comes with um, like a fur lining, which is kind of nice. Speaking of coats, I'm gonna break break with uh, things for a minute. There, I'm gonna put his uh, holster, his gun in his holster. Um, speaking of coats, I noticed that Columbia Sportswear just had a Hoth uh, crew jacket that they just released um, at the time of this video recording yesterday, December seventh, and uh, it sold out in minutes. And which I was kind of expecting it to do because let's face it, the um, the the Hoth blue crew jacket for anybody who's a Star Wars fan is an incredible uh, piece it's an incredible uh, you know part of Star Wars history it's the one of the only times that any any movie had such a noticeable recognizable jacket associated with the crew nothing to do with the movie nothing to do with the story just the crew so um, I thought it was pretty cool it was a $500 price point um, 
I love jackets, I love things that even prop replicas, but I, I couldn't pull the trigger on that. However, if there's some real um, huge Darth Tuba fan wants to go out and try to get him get them online, well, it's, it's sold out online, so too late there, but I think some stores might still have a few. Um, I'll gladly do an unboxing if someone wants to send it. Even if they want to send it to me to do an unboxing and then send it back. I think I'd be happy just to get a picture wearing it. I don't even need to own it, but uh, so cool. I hope maybe they consider trying it again. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe maybe for Empire's 40th anniversary they will. But anyway, back to Han. Again, these are the photorealistic faces, so they look a little bit more like the characters themselves, the actors themselves. Um, again, he's got the fur lining, although I will tell you that the lining is essentially just a lining. It isn't like part of the jacket. It actually is more like a scarf. So um, this comes with a slight rubber band that wraps around his chest that kind of can keep that in there. I would definitely keep that there, okay? All right, so Han and Leia, great figures, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm actually very relieved to be getting rid of the box. Um, it was too much box, just too much box for two figures. If it was like 10 figures in there or a lot of other items, I totally understand that. And you've seen that, I keep a couple of things in the box because of the way it's displayed, but that was just way too much for that, for just two figures. So. Um, much happier having it out like this. Okay, so good job. Moving on, General Viz. Let's get General Viz out of the box since we're on an Empire Strikes Back kick at the moment. And what I love about this is that, you know, anybody who remembers Empire Strikes Back, General Viz was a, kind of looked, had a, had a, probably one of the only ancillary characters to have a costume change. You know, he had his, whoop, almost lost his hat. Uh, he had a costume change, you know. He had his uh, general, general uniform that he was on the on the bridge with the other with the other uh, military types, and then later on, you you know you saw him in the this. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna you know I'll get some photos of both, but the real look of General Veers, honestly, is the um, the one with his cool helmet. So I'm going to do that, and I'll set that up. And again, like I said, I'll put some close-up photos of all this so you can see it. Basically just like a little chess piece. What I like about the chess piece is that it can hold the weapon. The chess piece kind of connects with the weapon. So if you want to keep them in there, you can do that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of pieces, like multiple extra pieces. I know that a lot of things come with that but I'm not a big fan of that only because uh, that means I have to keep the box because <laughs> I have to put something to put to put them in there and this is only one extra thing all right so his helmet does come with a kind of a uh, chin strap the chin straps a little hard to get around you kind of have to, to kind of play with it sometimes like military oh there you go just that works all right and there he is. Okay, you gotta put a little hat on the side there. Okay, well, this is what he looked like when he was riding the ad at. Again, I, I, you'll, you would have seen some close ups by now. Oops. His millets, his boot, his boot, boot uh, size is very small. So he kind of has. This is gonna be a challenging one to try to do a, to do a, dis, do a turntable display. But there you go. All right, so. Uh, moving right along here, we have three more packages, and again, I'm honestly forgetting what these packages are. They may not be Black Series, okay? They may actually be, uh, by the way, don't be surprised if General Veers tips over. This one's from HasbroToyShop.com. Not 100% sure. I, I lose track. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited. Val. Oh, Val from Van the Vandor Val. I'm so excited. Second, uh, the um, second wave, I guess, of the Black Series for Solo. There's some really great characters coming out, and Hasbro happened to have Val. Free shipping. Who knew? So you're paying the exact price for going into the store to buy it, and that is pretty awesome. I love this character. Um, I understand some people complain that she kind of went too soon. I understand that. But remember, the story was about Solo. Um, you know, introducing the character. Look, we had a we had a Cassie and and we had Cassie and Andor and all those characters, and now we may be seeing some of them in uh, 
in a television, you know, one-off series, well, maybe we'll see the same with Val. It's so cool to see her outfit up close. I mean, she's got like, it looks like she has pieces of holsters and pieces of stormtrooper gear and any other things that she had to use and wiring and cables and grappling hook and who knows what else. So pretty cool. Val is um, an awesome looking character. And I feel good for the actress because she was like talking about it. I remember in some of the interviews when the movie came out, she was talking about how she's now cool to her kids because she was in Star Wars. So I hope that they still feel that way, even though I know the movie wasn't well received. And I've spoken my piece on that. I think it's a great movie. Go see it. If you are watching this film and you have not seen Solo, a Star Wars story, give it a chance. And the funny thing is that there are a lot of people that didn't that saw it and didn't like it. I just didn't say a lot of people, but there are some people that have seen it and just didn't like the movie. Okay, but that's what's got, that's what we're getting, people. We're getting different stories, and some people they're going to resonate with some people and not with other people. I liked it. I think it was good. Now I'm not an apologist. They're, they, people are breaking apart the Last Jedi now, and there's lots of cool theories and things and you know question marks of why they did it this or why they did it that way. And I get it. And there are things that have forced me to say, well. Yeah, maybe I agree with that. Maybe that's not such a great way for that character to be presented or this character to be presented. But, you know, I still enjoy the movies. So I hope that uh, if you haven't seen it, give it a chance. All right. So this one is a, I'm, I'm guessing, I don't think this is a black series. I think this might be a small figure because there were two, two figures that I was, you know, I, I have a checklist of older figures. This is the problem with having Star Wars be such a, so much in today's society, is that so much Star Wars comes out, so many, so much product, so much TV show, so much, you know, series after series after movie after movie, and it's like hard to keep track of everything. You know, when you're an adult, it's one thing when you were a kid, and, and you know, you could, this was your focus, you know, and now you have the internet, which is like an, like an unending resource to help find everything. But it's just, you lose track, and it's hard. So, no, oh, no, I think this is a, uh, no, this is an old, this is a three and three quarter inch. Yes, these are our two Wookiee Warriors, Wolf Roro and Wookiee Warrior from the Rebels cartoon series, which is awesome. So excited to be able to finally get this. These were some, you know, second series releases of the smaller action figures that were Unfortunately, not easy to come by. Um, and I just liked, oh, poor Han. Well, that's foreshadowing, isn't it? We'll get you back up there, Han, in a minute. Don't worry. Let me just get these other Wookiees. They're not your Wookiees. Wow, they're pretty simple, okay? No weapons, just two Wookiees. Kind of kind of one, very ape looking. They're, they, they really are ape looking when you take away like bandolier straps. And, and things of that nature. Again, I'll get some close-ups of everything so you can see it all. No worries. Come on. Unfortunately, this one's not standing up really well. And then poor Han, there he goes. All right. Very good. So I do enjoy the, uh, the um, Rebels figures and the Clone Wars figures. I think they're really cool. I think they're a neat little additive. And they don't take up much space, especially when you take them out of the package. You have a lot of options there, so that's cool. And I'm pretty sure that, I think I know what this one is. There's one more figure, I think similar, from a similar, um, from a similar line, Rebels, yep. And this is Visago. With an underrated, awesome, underrated character, Dizago. And the IGRM, which is one of the droids. Okay, again, from the animated series. He's, um, Vizago's often accompanied by the droid. Uh, kind of a cool character, you know. Had some, had some interesting, uh, interesting adventures. Again, you know, unlike Clone Wars, you know, uh, Rebels didn't have quite the length and following of the of that. I think it was, you know, it's like the new age of Star Wars, so that happens. But still, a cool droid, a cool action figure. Interesting, he got, he got his gun already holstered. He does come with a holster. Again, these are just plain, simple figures. So these things do not have uh, much articulation or anything like that. But nonetheless, it's still fun, it's still cool. And it's neat to just see, you know, I know that, and this is something that's interesting, I know that when we were kids, 
and we got ancillary characters, we had adventures with them. You know, we had we made up new adventures with the ancillary characters because we could. And that's what was cool about that. I hope that kids are doing that. I hope that kids are taking stuff like that and and creating new adventures. I mean, Disney, Disney, Star Wars, Lucasfilm, they do their best to kind of steer the motivations of certain characters in certain episodes. And that's what's nice about the cartoon series is that you can see that. You can let that happen. And it's really cool. But nonetheless, I mean, it's nice to have options with the toys to do different things. But that'll do it for this lengthy episode and you know just trying to get lots of other star wars things now speaking of before we go i do have one more giveaway okay and that is um for speaking of rebels we have a two pack of a stormtrooper and sabine uh this is an extra one that i was able to acquire over the you know over my collecting i i was able to meaning i did it by accident but i would like to put this out there for you guys so here's what i would like um, I'll, I don't want comments this time. Instead, um, you just simply need to subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? So, for, so pass this along. Uh, any new YouTube subscribers who, 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 hit, who hit new subscribers in the, during the week. Actually, you know what we'll do? Um, we'll do it for, from this point on for the rest of December, okay? So anybody who is a new subscriber from the date of this recording, which is December 8th, through December 31st, okay, we'll be entered to to win this, okay, and uh, maybe I'll even you know look for some other extras to put in. If not, it'll just be this, but we'll see. So new subscribers only, please, okay, just just to hit the subscribe button, get some new subscribers, okay. To any and, and any of you uh, people that are new to it, pass it along, I'll let other people know about it. All right, thank you so much. In the meantime, check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Darth Tuba. Uh, Darth Tuba is a Star Wars unboxing page on Facebook. Uh, I occasionally do some live videos. We did our live tree trimming. We'll see about doing some more. I'm not sure, but we'll, you know, see what the time gives, particularly when we get into the holiday season. Got a few more holiday themed episodes coming, along with uh, some other fun unboxings that are on, on, the, on, you know, on the radar coming down the pike. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions or things you want to say. Until next time, may the force be with you. <laughs>